Hey, what up, Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 video. In this video, we're going to talk about the ammo converter and the updates that have been made to it on the patch 21. <laughs> so let's start wasting time and jump right into it. Alright, so before I jump into with my feedback on the updates that were done on the ammo converter, uh, let's talk about how you can get it. According to the Bethesda website, you'll need to get rank 5, right? Uh, and as soon as you hit rank 5, you unlock the ammo converter. So that is for Season 1, Fallout 76, the Legendary run. So I'm going to try to show you the Legendary run and go with the slow-mo because, as you can see, that's the beautiful... Ch -ch 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 <laughs> uh, 21st century uh, game let's go come on now we're almost there <laughs> okay so essentially this is rank 1 that's rank 2 rank 3 rank 4 and rank 5 so once you hit rank 5 you unlock it you claim it and it will end up in your atomic shop uh, at the uh, camp section, that's for sure. And I think it's const construction, no? Oh no, utility. Should be under utility, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there it is. So, you'll have it and you can craft it. Where you can craft it is pretty much you go to your build menu and under the resource section where you have your uh, collectrons, your fertilizer if you bought it from the settlers, this ammo, uh, arc of ammunition construction, basically it, it makes you ammo in X amount of time, right? So that's it right there. So once you build it, uh, here's the ammo converter and I'm not going to touch base in terms of uh, the ratio between how much you sell by. I'm just going to talk about the functionality. Also, I'm going to share with you one real co uh, cool link to a website uh, that I most of the times use is fallout.random.com wiki. So uh, let me go ahead and share my screen with you real quick here so you can see what I'm talking about. Bam. There we go. So this is... They've updated the information, you can take a look on the conversion ratio, and so on. So that's pretty much it. Alright. Now it's time to talk about the actual use of it. By the way, uh, when I made the first review, I couldn't understand where the animation takes place, and it takes place like this. You just gotta click on it, and it takes place. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, ammo points converter man you know I am not happy about it to be honest it's still not convenient although it's good to have but it's not the best and I'm pretty sure that's not what we wanted uh, on top of everything else I think throughout all those videos all those uh, reddit posts twitter posts and stuff like that that even one of those uh, developers or whoever replied and made a note oh, we heard you we're gonna redo it, it in my personal opinion very very minimum minimum time was dedicated to this maybe like I don't know a day not more because the amount of changes that have been done are not the best like the I think it's like the only thing that they heard from us is hey the volumes and the limits so that's exactly what they did they only changed well and a few times over here but they only changed the volumes of us like making it but there are still some issues with it right so I just made for as an example I'm gonna use the 50 cal right so I made a f uh, 2000 ammo over there right now the thing is with this one if you go like ballistic and you want to get rid of your 50 cal right so this cell 1x it means a hundred fifty cal rounds uh, 10x that's 1000 and a hundred x that's 10,000 rounds a 50 cal for 8,000 points. So this is no problemo. I can do this twice, right? My 
first frustration is, well, okay, what if I just wanted to get rid of everything that I had, right? So, in theory, I would just go to, I, knowingly that I have like two and a half thousand of ammo, right? And I don't want to do all this click, 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 click. I just go here, bam, it sells everything that I have and just gives me the points. And I have my points, and that's it, I'm done. It, it, this is like the easiest case scenario. Like, watch this. Now, I should I should have less than 1,000 rounds. This is what's going to happen. Whoop. You don't have enough. Try again later. <laughs> so, again, we still, in whatever case, we need to keep doing this clicky, click, click, clicky, click, click, click in order to get our stuff gotten rid of. Although, it's way better than it was but not the best and I don't think a lot of time dedication was given to this in order to fix it like why not make a scroll bar like you know you select okay I got 50 cal ammo I want shotgun shells right and, and just like this so for example um, here let's say I want to drop the arrows I'm talking about this one, right? This functionality, for instance, as an example. So on the left side, we would have the 50 cal ammo. On the right side, we'll have shotgun shells. And you use this indicator, and on the left side, it will tell you how much 50 cal uh, ammo will be taken from you and how much shotgun shells you will be given in return for that 50 cal ammo instead of those points and stuff like that. Because after getting rid of all that stuff, I still need, to, if I want those shotgun shells, I still need to go to, I think it's uh, lower ballistic. Uh, one second here. So it's lower ballistic, right? And I go shotgun, ammo, and now I want to start buying. So, although the buying process is a little bit easier, but once again, look. 15,000 points for 1,200 rounds, that's nice. But there we go. I'm doing that. So that's 120 shells. And I gotta do it like this. Although buying ammo now is way easier. That I gotta admit. But still. Now I don't have enough just a little bit. You could have just uh, taken what my remainings and just give me some less ammo in return. I mean. We still gotta do a lot of clicks. It's still not. Well not what I wanted for it to be this well my personal point of view it's still good to have but once again it's not the best and I don't know I mean that's pretty much it there's really nothing to add <laughs> what I'm pretty much sure of is that not a lot of time was dedicated to this definitely and uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are gonna be angry about it but Nevertheless, it's better than nothing. Although, I personally think that um, crafting ammo is way better. You know where you get your lead, you always have steel. Uh, everything is pretty much straightforward. If you're a shotgun build, uh, you don't even have to worry about ammo. If you're a part of a clan or a part of a group playing, you're using different guns, you can share the ammo between each other. Like, honestly, I really don't remember the last time I made ammo for my shotgun. Really, I don't remember. It's been months. Uh, and I played a lot, especially through the double XP event when I was grinding the uh, 10k uh, repeatable challenge to grind my uh, rank in the Season 1. I used up a lot of ammo. And I gave away ammo, I got some ammo in return, stuff like that. That's a way better way already. Uh, plus, if I'm not mistaken, I've seen a few videos on those legendary perk cards. And I'm not going to go into a lot of details on those legendary perk cards because that may change. But there's a perk card that allows you to make even more ammo. So if you collab the legendary perk card, you collab it with the ammo smith perk card, uh, which you have in the agility. So... Uh, in the agility, right, this one right here, 80% more rounds when crafting ammo, and collab it with super duper, you can make a lot of ammo. Uh, this is like the best way, and that ammo converter, in my personal opinion, is just like, good to have. 
mm, nothing super fancy about it. It's like, you know, it feels like, yeah, we heard you, and then we're going to do something about it, but then when the time comes, um, oh yeah, we've got to do it. Hey, uh, just increase the numbers and let it go. That That's how what I feel about this ammo converter. I mean, you could have done so much different functionality with that, and I already gave some tips and tricks on how I saw it in my previous video. In this video, a lot of other YouTubers gave real cool ideas as well, like creating a, your own sort of like factory of ammo, and you put like the stuff you like in one stash. You put all the ammo you want to get rid of. The system like sort of uh, takes that ammo and bit by bit converts it into the ammo that you want. <laughs> you know, there were so many bright ideas on how you can make this thing better, but I don't know. Maybe it's done to prevent any like glitch, bug, exploits, whatever. I mean, we all know this game is uh, one big feature, so I don't know. I'm not even going to be surprised if this ammo converter will turn out to be an issue with some exploit or something in the nearest future. Like, to be honest, I'm not going to be surprised. So, but yeah, good to have. I'm going to stop talking here and uh, I'll share the link with you that I've mentioned before. And I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, you know the drill. Do not forget to hit that like and also please do share your point of view on this ammo converter update. How do you feel about it? Uh, maybe your suggestions on how you can make it better. Hopefully that Bethesda will listen to us. Maybe watch the video and uh, read your comments. I'm not sure. I I'm not sure anymore <laughs> with this game, man. Anyway, that's all I, I wanted to say about the ammo converter. It's good to have. Uh, it's not what I expected. I expected that it would uh, be better, but it's not. So, Z Clan and everybody else, thanks all for watching. You all know drill. Don't forget to hit that like, comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity, as those comments will get triggered by YouTube. Nobody will see those. Nobody will be able to read them and respond to them. So, if you have negative feedback, you can always provide it in a good manner without swearing the only hell out of my comments, because those comments are not going to be visible. So, once again, if you want your comments to be read, no F bombs or nasty language, you know. If you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine, so hi from Ukraine. Our clan has grown to 5,746 Z Clan members. And we have an active Discord, so the link to the Discord is down in the video description. Make sure to read the rules because you will get perma banned if you do not follow the rules. It's pretty much simple. I have a tutorial on how to use the Discord in case if you don't know what that is. Also down the link is uh, to the tutorial is down in the video description. So Z Clan, everybody else Thanks all for watching. You all have a good morning, day, and night. And I'll see you on the next video. And by the way, it's not being me making negative videos at the moment. It's just me sharing my emotions to the current item. Trust me, this game is a love and hate relationship. There's nothing more to add. So don't tell me that I'm some sort of a hater. I still love and hate this game. <laughs> Catch y'all later. From the ashes we rose, into the future we'll go We are Z Clan, we have a gamer's soul By the mind of the sword, we put the pen to the test We are Z Clan, we are Z Gamer's best Z Clan! Z Clan! Oh, our hearts and our soul, we will forever know Our community strong, oh, this is our song the depths of the heart of the one sort of part Here we will stand a line drawn in the sand Z-Clan Z-Clan